kids call me animals They're quite a funny bunch Some like to creep and crawl And others like to crunch Some run so very fast They're really quite a show While others like to bask And hover high and low Weird and funny animals They're different everywhere you go Weird and funny animals From head to toe Lemurs Pink flamingos Badgers Rabbits Funny-nosed Nasik monkeys, every animal spends a lot of time scratching. Like a monkey, or quietly like an orangutan, or energetically like a zebra. They've all got their own style of scratching. It's an art, and they adapt to every situation because it's not so easy for some animals to scratch themselves. A clever wild boar chooses a tree that's strong enough and with a good solid bark that's not too hard and not too soft, so it won't rub off. Then he can abandon himself to the pleasures of a good scratching session. But if he tries to find the perfect tree, he just might start a snow avalanche. Well, a little one. No question about it, scratching is quite an art and everybody does it in his or her own way. Usually, if an animal scratches, it's to get rid of lice or some parasite or other unwelcome guest. But sometimes, Mama Kangaroo just enjoys some leisurely belly scratching on her pouch when her baby is out of it. In nature, some animals can count on friends to scratch them, and others can't, and have to do it themselves, like male bears who don't associate much with other male bears. No, any scratching that has to be done they have to do it for themselves. Pink flamingos can't waste any time. They have to keep scratching. For them, scratching is a family affair as they're walking in the water. When animals tend to stay alone, some of them, like the topius, have to come up with complicated new ways of satisfying that itch. As for the sea otter, once the fishing is over, the otter absolutely has to get rid of all the salt that's stuck to his body. To avoid the terrible itching, he rolls on the ground as best he can, but he has to stay away from the algae. They would only add more salt. As with most wild mammals, the ibexes are eaten up by all sorts of parasites, fleas, ticks, all sorts, and they're always there. When they aren't leaping about on mountain slopes, they stop and have a good scratch. They have devised all sorts of techniques from the most elementary to the most sophisticated to rid themselves of these irritations, and they're very good at using their horns. An oryx can also scratch with his horns, even harder if he has only one left. You take macaque monkeys. Okay, they spend a lot of time pulling up grass by the roots and eating the bulbs they find, but that soil is literally crawling with little ants that make the monkeys itch in a big way. These ants bite with their mandibles and then eject formic acid from their abdomen and get it into the wound that they've made. Ouch! The monkeys have to learn how to eat and scratch at the same time. That gets a little complicated. But ant larvae are, well, they're great for lunch. And they're so good that they're worth a, a little dance. As for bats, if they do a lot of scratching, that's to get rid of a particular parasite that sucks their blood. Maybe that's where the legend of vampire bats comes from. <laughs> 